Hello and welcome back to today's video. Listen, there's a couple things I wanted to talk to you about before we get started. Um, I know the platforms don't like talking to each other, but this is what I do for a living. I buy shops, I restore antique tools, and I sell them. I've been doing it for a very, very long time. You can find all the stuff that is available. I do not have a website. I had a website for about a year and more people were visiting Instagram than they were my website. So everything is available on Instagram all the time. Uh, you can find me there at Mount Phillip Metal Works. Let's get in to today's video. Thank you for being here as always. Today, we're gonna to be putting a motor mount with a very interesting motor on top of this 90 pound Williams and White power hammer. Let's get into it. So if you haven't figured it out by now, this hammer ran on gas. So the guy I got it from didn't have three phase in the shop. The motor was three phase, so he opted to put a gas motor on it. And it has this cam system, so you would take tension off of the belts, start the engine, and then reapply the tension. And um, right now, it hasn't been ran in a very long time, so there's a lot of old gas in the gas tank. We're gonna clean that out and see if we can't get this bad boy running back the way it was. Cause why not? Cause it's cool and fun. All right. So it's on a cam system. So there's tension off and then tension on, which is pretty slick. Pretty, uh, pretty neat little cam system. Now what we'll do is We'll work on disgusting smelling gas tank off here. There is no other smell in the world like rotten gas. There you go. Oh yeah. Okay. We got the gas tank off, let's clean it up. I was actually able to pull this little nozzle out of the bottom of the tank and just drain it completely and get all the crap and gunk and everything out of there. So we can reinstall that. All in all, that only took like literally five minutes. The feed line. Always run your bolts in with a ratchet. That way if they cross thread, they just really cross thread. Actually, it started just fine. Nothing cross threaded. Give this thing a drink of some 110 octane race fuel because that's all I have right now. Okay, I like it. As far as starting goes, I have no idea how he was starting this. There is a electric start in the whole flywheel. Oh, no. This sucks. gas gunked up carburetor too i guess this is the kill switch for it Okay, so that's it. Is it practical? Absolutely not. Uh, if you didn't have power in an outdoor shop, excellent choice, works perfectly. Can't, can't say enough about how well this actually works. I did not think it would work that well. I don't know why I didn't think it would work that well, but how often do you see a gasoline engine on a power hammer? So there you go, it's just rotation, right? As long as there's enough oomph to get the mass going, works perfectly. This hammer is amazing. It is a 90 pound head weight, 
uh, probably a 10 pound box, probably a hundred and, uh, you know, hundred pound ram weight hammer. This is a Williams and White, 1902, I believe. Anyway, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. That was fun. That was cool. This is, what am I doing with my hands? This is a thing you gotta do when you're on YouTube. Apparently you move your hands all around.